I don't care what kind of scam calls that this man had. He had no right to hold this woman against her will and take her home. He hold this woman against her will and took her phone. Now, this is the first I ever seen a video like this. Cause the news be always talking about that bullshit, all these fucking wars and shit. Um, <clears throat> shit is crazy, people. That shit is crazy. Here behind me is where a scam call turned deadly, and I'm going to step out of the way here so you can get a look here. The man who lives here is accused of shooting and killing an Uber driver. He now faces a murder charge and potential other charges. According to reports, authorities say William Brock had been receiving multiple threatening scam calls the morning of March 25th. The calls were concerning an incarcerated relative, and Brock was told to meet at the courthouse to pay a ransom of $12,000 in bail money, or they would kill him and his relative. Around the same time of the call, Lolita Hall received directions from the same person or an accomplice, instructing her to go to Brock's home to pick up a package for delivery. Dashcam video from Hall's car shows her arrive to Brock's home to pick up that package. According to reports from the Clark County Sheriff's Office, Brock allegedly had a gun. This video appears to confirm that. The incident report says Brock allegedly took Hall's phone and wouldn't let her leave. And when she tried to go, authorities say Brock then shot Hall. They started fighting and he shot her two more times. Authorities received a call from Brock saying he had shot someone on his property because they were trying to rob him. When units arrived, they found Hall. That right there, grounds alone, people. Ground alone. His white ass need to be behind bars. Fuck that, that lady didn't try to rob him. Shit, if anything, he tried to rob her. Shit, he fucking took her phone and he would not fucking let her leave. They need to throw his white ass underneath the jailhouse. Hall with multiple gunshot wounds and Brock was bleeding from his head. Hall was flown to Kettering Hospital in Dayton where she died. Reports say while officials were on scene, Brock's landline phone kept ringing and when one officer picked it up, the man on the other line said he was an officer. And the real officer explained what happened and asked the caller to meet. And he agreed, but never showed up. We reached out to Uber and they responded with this statement saying in part, quote, There was no other way to describe this incident than a horrific tragedy. Our hearts continue to be with Lolita's loved ones as they grieve her sudden loss. We have been in contact with law enforcement and remain committed to supporting their investigation. End quote. Uber also went on to say the account of the individual who ordered the Uber trip has been banned. The sheriff's office is also reminding residents to be extra cautious and that no law enforcement agency or court will call you in demand for bail money over the phone. That goes for any other court functions as well. Reporting in Springfield, Grace Hewitt, 2 News. Hey, <clears throat> let's end the video, you guys. That white motherfucker need to be thrown underneath the jailhouse. Like truly. His ass don't got long to live no goddamn way. I don't give a damn how many scam calls. We all get scam calls. Shit. You shouldn't let he, all of us get scam calls, including myself, get scam calls. I had put a goddamn um an app on my phone on them fucking scammers can't keep fucking calling me. I had that same shit happen to me. But uh, his ass need to be thrown underneath the jailhouse. And, and don't need to be let out. <clears throat> at all. No bail, none of that bullshit. Because he came out there with the intentions to kill somebody. And he killed the lady. That lady was limping and came back to move around. You know? And then if they do let that dude out of jail, that lady family need to be at his fucking house and kill his white ass. Now, I'm just gonna be completely honest. Okay, that right there was completely unnecessary. Some people might say, well, the people who did the scamming need to go to jail. Now, that's true too, but this old motherfucker want to pull the trigger on this goddamn woman. He ain't how to do that. That lady want no threat to him. He chose to shoot that lady because he wanted to. And he thought he was gonna get away with it because she was on his property. I don't know if I don't think people got these guns just because somebody come in your yard 
You could need to kill them. If they not no threat to you, what the fuck you need to have a gun to shoot them for? Ain't nothing wrong with having a gun out. But having a gun to just shoot somebody for no damn reason. Now, come on now. I don't give a damn how many threatening calls you getting. It does not give you the right to kill somebody. You guys need to like this video, make this video a viral or something, man. You know, share it. Do whatever it needs to take to get it out to the algorithm. You know, but people need to hear this shit. Shit is on this side, man. For real. First I ever seen this shit. Shit is ridiculous. I like the video, share the video, come back, catch you guys on this hardcore, so let's just video. This is Goku TV Rock you get to it. I love those who who fucking people who love fucking me. Who love country boy? Let me know. You know what I'm talking about? Don't forget you guys. Jesus Christ is king.